Welcome to the graffiti category and that's just an example there of some of the things you can make there. There's a nice card there for Ant. Now we've got a great category here which is down with the kids. Sick. I'm 68 this year, I can't be saying things like that and I've not got a clue what they're on about nowadays, I just can't understand. Well the problem is now, you don't really know whether when they're saying something whether it's meant to be good or whether it's bad. I mean I know what the expressions are now for it's good, it's sick. Or no, that was one probably you 10 years ago. No, no, that's quite recent. Dench. Dench, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not even going to try, I have enough trouble speaking normal English. Anyway, yeah, this is just true. an example. We've got a whole category, and in this category, category you've got the graffiti uh, designs done by Josh Art as well. Uh, you've got there's a separate category for those, but you can find it in this category. Anyway, Josh Art, fantastic. I'll show you some bits and pieces of those. But complementing those, we have the graffiti walls. What do you normally paint on when you do graffiti? We've got an assortment of different walls. Not that we encourage you to do that. Lots of different walls you can do it on in different sizes. And we've also got the graffiti letters. So you can print out your wall or any paper, any background paper, and then you can print the letters over the top, cut them and out. And what are they called? And what are they called when they do that on the wall? I don't What's know. It called? It's called a tag. Let's say you know who the artist is because it's called a tag because they have their own style. Really? There you go. Right, let's go through some of these. So there's an example where we've used the uh, text there and we've also used one of the brick walls. Got a picture there of Ant there mm. to make a great birthday card, that one too. I just want to run through That's some of the walls. That's Ant. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we've got this. There's an example here. I'm just showing you some of these walls that you can use in lots of different creative ways and i'll give you a few ideas in this as well now you are getting all of these in different sizes that one you could color in yourself to whatever brick wall combination color you want so you've got lots of different inspiration you've got bright colorful ones you've also got ones that are a bit more traditional you've got some that are landscape some that are um, portrait uh, but I think they're great, you know, they work really well, so you can put all sorts of things on these. Very clever. Uh, you've got the different sizes, that one works well in a card, you'll see a bit later on. You've got the medium there, you've got the small, and you've also got the mini as well. Now we've also got the text, now it's, it's all the letters of the alphabet you can print off in different sizes, and all the uh, numbers from one to naught to zero so that makes it means you can make things like this we've got this card here we've got josh art there and we've used all these letters separately printed onto a background we've made an actual uh, birthday card here by sticking them all these demonstrations you can watch online um you can see there this is just a simple card but this is an example of, here of all of the different texts and the sizes so basically what you would do is print off your design first that you want and then print the numbers or the letters that you want over top then just cut them out and stick them down in any combination that you want so that's the one two three four but i've done it a different background here so the sizes you're going to get is this you've got this one which is an a4 that's just a letter three print that over what you want then you've got seven and eight here that's in the medium like large then you've got medium and then you've got the small size and then you've got the mini size and then you've got the mini mini size and then you've got the mini 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 size you keep going down in sizes so you can decide what alphabet or what number size you want so they go down to that size there Seven sizes altogether. Well, you've also got all the letters of the alphabet. You've got the big A4 ones going down to these, which are the medium large. That's the medium large. Got two of those just to show you as an example. Uh, you've got this one. Actually, the medium large, there's a few examples of here, ones that I've used. <coughs> That's a B and a J and a B again and an M. Give me a J, and give an me S. O, give me an S. Will you shut your clack? And a G, and a Q. And you can use all these offcuts as well. And there you can see I've been using these in demonstrations. 
that's all printed onto there and I've cut them out the ones that I want save these in a folder so whenever you want to come to use a letter you can have a look what you've already got printed out so these are an example here of the of the uh, alphabets in the different sizes there but it's got a, a style that works with well, basically everything you want you can have these just white you could color these in yourself if you want to and I've get, again you've got the alphabets I've only printed a few of the pages out otherwise I would be here all day looking at them and again this goes down in size so you're not limited to whatever you want to do and whatever size project you are working on but I think this would be a good idea for you to go and show us how to find the um, graffiti collection to find the graffiti category from the home page all you need to do is click on shop and then from shop click on craft downloads then scroll down until you come to graffiti and street art and there is your graffiti and street art section so for the graffiti sets you just click on graffiti sets and for josh art just click on josh art by josh hunt so i'm just going to click on the graffiti sets and those are the current sets that we have it's that simple to find and we will be adding to them all the time so you probably saw in that little uh, Barry's little showing you how to find these and that uh, the Josh Art. Now these are a few examples from that. This is the Pug Dog. Uh, you've got those in all the different sizes. You can look at the separate one, separate demonstration with those. You've got this one and made a card from that one. Um, we've got a card made from that as well. We've used the brick walls there. And we've also used the background papers that opens up there like that. Now we've also got this one. Now what was that word you kept on using? Sick. Sick, yes. Well, there's a little bit of sick on this one. Not real sick. Not real sick. There, the little, I don't know what, I must ask Josh what's the story behind this inebriated gentleman or whatever he is. This is dad on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in trouble. You've got this one. That's this a, is not Anna on a Friday night. <laughs> it could be. You got this one done this card using that i think these are great to give to well people who like graffiti it's something a bit different you can't get anywhere else and um, because you've got the text and the numbers you can do any combination to create you saw that background as well it works so simple i've just uh, cut that out with leaving a white border stuck it on the brick effect and put that on the card and put some of the uh, backing paper inside you've even got 3ds in the sets as well so that's the that's the uh, inebriated or whatever he is gentleman you've also got a mouse selection too and i've got some finished samples here of this you've got one there i love this one because we use the background there and cut around the ears and then just stuck down the corners you can look at the demonstration how this was made and then that can slide in there and you can just write on the back happy birthday or whatever you want to do we've got this one that's a little bit different there you've got the insert you've got a nice elongated picture there of the mouse and then you've got one there that's a little bit more classy i like using black card it makes things a bit more stunning uh, that's just an example there so those are just a few examples from the graffiti collection we'll be adding that all the time now you can buy those individually as well so if you just want the text you can buy that or brick walls or any of josh's designs uh, just keep a lookout because we will be adding all the time as i said my mouth's drying up can't take over <laughs> so all you need to do really is just uh, well one thing would be good for you to do one thing would be very good for you to do is tell all your friends. Mm -hmm. And if you're not already signed up to our Facebook page, we've got two Facebook pages. We've got Alan and Barry and we've got Get Creative. Both of them are interlinked with each other. It'd be good if you signed up for that. And also, an exceptionally good thing for you to do would be to sign up for our YouTube channel. And all you need to do to do that is go onto YouTube, tap in Alan and Barry, and you'll find a cartoon that pops up of, well, Alan and Barry. And then you can subscribe. Now, the one thing I would say, if you're going to subscribe to the YouTube channel, click or select notifications on. Turn the notifications on because if your notifications are on, every time we launch a new video, it'll pop up on your smart device or your computer to let you know there's been a new 
uh, video. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that is often, often we put something on YouTube long before it's a product. So in a way, it's or, or a product for sale. So in a way, it's a way of you getting a kind of a preview of something that's coming up. Got nothing more to say just enjoy it make sure you look at all the different videos with demonstrations that will give you lots of ideas about other design sets too